look at this view. We are here at the Bay Arena. Minus 110 degrees. We're gonna go down to the pitch later. How cool is that to walk out onto the pitch at the Bay Arena. Lots more exciting content to come from Leverkusen. Stay tuned. All right, we are here at the Bay Arena. As you just heard, they are going to take us to some secret or I guess less seen rooms. So lots to see today. Well, Marcus just told us that there are 2,200 VIP seats here in the Bay Arena. You saw some of my other videos. We were in the VIP section. We'll probably check a little more of that out today, but we're going somewhere else first. First stop on our tour is the Bayern Ophir Esports Lounge. This is where the esports team practices and competes. Also on match day, it's the private box of Jonas Hoffmann, so his family is in here. They can even play some EAFC during the game. Check out this view into the Bay Arena. We're gonna go down to the pitch later, but still checking out the sights up here. For now, we got Jared and Jake. Yo, this is crazy. We're really in the Bay Arena here. We are all the way at the top of the Bay Arena. Look at this view. Imagine that a Bundesliga club puts your name up on the electronic board. Well, I don't have to imagine it. I just saw it and honestly, my mind is blown because that was crazy. I've heard that this is the best pitch in the Bundesliga. Yesterday, I was seeing all the lights. They were making sure that the grass was regrowing even though it's been raining pretty much non-stop in Germany. Let's see what the next stop on this tour is. Wow, was für eine Aussichtspunkt das war. So on to the next one. Here are the training pitches. You can see them using those same lights to regrow. It's honestly crazy the technology that they're employing in Leverkusen. Stepping back inside, we're inside one of the hospitality restaurants. We're actually gonna have dinner here Saturday night after the game. You see the vegetarian, vegetarian. that's the section that I'm gonna be eating at. If we look outside the window, we can see our Ulrich Havenland Stadium here. Uh, it's, it holds up to like 3,000 people. And this is the playground of our under 19, our, our under 17 and our women's team. A lot of times when clubs play international competitions like the Champions League, they exchange gifts, showing a gesture of friendship and sportsmanship with the other clubs. Here are some of the gifts that Leverkusen have received while playing in the Champions League. Now it's time for my official presentation as a new signing up here in the press conference room. <laughs> After my signing presentation, it's time to meet some of my new teammates. Here come the buyer players out of their training. They're going down to the pitch. Hello, Robert. Hey. Hello, Jonathan. Hello. Settling in the club, time to test out some of the amenities. Obviously, the hair dryer in the dressing room. Got to make sure that's in working order. We checked out the visitors' dressing room, which Marcus told us is actually one of the nicest in the Bundesliga. I asked them why they make it so nice. Don't you want to create more of an intimidating atmosphere and really make the away players feel pretty terrible before they come out for a match? Of course, it was amazing to hang up the kit, make it really feel like home. Now, let's head out to the pitch. How cool is that to walk out onto the pitch at the Bay Arena? Feel like one of the players. Watch your head, it's a bit low. The smell of freshly cut grass. And they're hard at work. There are 14 groundskeepers here, full time in Leverkusen. Fantastic pitch. I keep talking about the groundskeepers and the quality of the pitch. One thing I love is showcasing some of the other jobs in football. People aren't just players. They're not just managers, coaches. They don't just work in media. Other people work in stadium ops and the grounds crew. They really make sure that the surface is pristine. Leverkusen won the Bundesliga's Pitch of the Year award back to back two years in a row these past two years. And you can see why it is incredible. A little bit behind the scenes on this tour. Everybody's here. Checking out the pitch. 
little bit of the Leverkusen logo evolution over the years. Uh, but the only difference is Coming up to our last stop on the tour, another amazing view from here in the stadium. This is another one of the VIP sections. Maybe we'll be back later. And that's the away fence section over in that corner of the arena. Uh, the boss, uh, the offices of our bosses, like Fernando As you heard Marcus say, Leverkusen has amazing accommodations for all supporters, whether you're blind or deaf, they have special accommodations in that section that we just saw. Six pieces in my hand, don't ask me how. The uh, smell of the freshly is, cut uh, grass yes, is have amazing. The yeah. They're it's making sure it's that everything is in order uh, for the top field tomorrow against yeah, Bayern. Back up to the eSports Lounge. Yeah, all right, our final stop on the stadium tour involves even more of the technological advances that they're employing at Bayer Leverkusen. This gym looks crazy, right? Well, guess what? The first team doesn't even train here. This is only used for players when they're recovering. We see the zero grav treadmill. They also have an altitude chamber so they can simulate training at two miles above sea level or around 3000 meters above sea level. And as we learned, sports science is not only about becoming bigger, faster, stronger. It's about recovering quicker, getting back on the pitch, having reps nearer to your full strength so you can recover between games. And so players can continue to perform at a very high level across all these competitions that they're involved in these days. Going into the ice cream bus. Minus 110 degrees. Let's step into the Kalta camera, the cold chamber. This ice lab gets minus 110 degrees below zero Celsius. That's minus 165 degrees below Fahrenheit. Usually players go in wearing their swimsuits. We fortunately got to keep all of our clothes on. Funny story though, for some reason, I decided to take off my shoes and we were supposed to stay in for three minutes, obviously didn't have shoes. It froze a hole in my socks. I had to tap out early. Still one of the wildest experiences I've had. Really felt like a first team player throughout this whole stadium tour. I wore my socks. Oh no. And I got a little bit cold. Yeah, <laughs> oh, sorry. I literally got cold feet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into the Bayern no Fear fan shop and customize our own jerseys. Hey John, I got your name set. <laughs> so what do you have to do? You have to make it flat and line up. Yes, I'll line up the eye with the middle of the crystal logo. It's 140 uh, uh, grad Celsius in 15 seconds. And what's the most popular bit? Bits. Rempong, Palacios. Shaka. Shaka. Yeah, he's at level out. But by far. Since I already have the Grimsy 2 kit that Bayer customized for me last year, I decided to go with the Florian Wirtz number 10 this time. Yeah. Now it's completely fixed. It's a perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. So this wasn't actually part of our stadium tour, but the day before I went into the VIP section to record a Q&A. Here's what it looks like when you come in. A lot of these amazing old photos showcasing the history of Leverkusen. Take the elevator, head on up, and then check it out. Pop into the Solarnia Lounge. This is where I shot the Q&A. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. This is a private suite for one of the club's sponsors. During the match, you can enjoy the game from either the comforts inside the lounge or some padded seats out here. Enjoy the full atmosphere from the Bayerina crowd, fully equipped with the TV, all the amenities you need. Obviously on match day, it'd be full of food and drinks. Something I really enjoyed doing was using the control panel to close the shutters. Additionally, the Lindner Hotel is part of the Bay Arena. This hotel is crazy. You can actually see the pitch from some of the rooms inside the hotel. And just like in the Schwadbud bar, there's a lot of amazing old memorabilia, kits, 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 more kits. 
It's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, we were having lunch, dinner in this venue that is actually connected to the stadium. I don't know if there's another hotel in the world that's part of a stadium. As we conclude the tour, just want to say thank you for joining me on this tour. Lots more exciting content to come from Leverkusen. Stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the Leverkusen by Arena Stadium Tour. Hope you're enjoying the entire Leverkusen suite of content that I am continuing to deliver. Let me know what was your favorite part of the stadium tour. Let me know what else you want to see. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you, Footy Fam. A special thanks to the VIPs and Ultras who are paid subscribers on the Footy Fam Patreon. This video wouldn't be possible without your support. If you want to see your name in the credits and get other awesome perks like BTS content and more, make sure to subscribe via the link in the description.